Hi, I'm Benjamin Kay. I live in Santa Monica, California, and I teach at the high school and the college, and I'm out here uh, to document for my students as well as uh, people in the community. Our uh, single-use um, plastic addiction has gotten us into major, major trouble. I'm here on Santa Monica Beach, uh, November 21st, 2013, and we've just had the second flush of the storm season. Our first flush this year was very weak. Our second flush had more rain with it, therefore carried even a larger amount of trash out into the ocean, mainly plastic pollutants. Um, I'm here uh, just north of the Pico Kenner storm drain, where we've had a fallout zone of the plastic pollutants that have been rewashed ashore um, from, from the tides and the waves, uh, kind of regurgitating the plastic pollutants uh, back up onto the shore, at least temporarily until the next high tide. I just wanted to demonstrate to everybody how much plastic is actually going out into the ocean that's not going to get cleaned up. It's 12.15 a.m. in the morning, um, and it's Thursday, again, November 21st, 2013. Here we go. Styrofoam cups, also known as EPS or polystyrene. Plastic water bottles plastic cup from 7-Eleven. Just going to point out what I see here. Every step is styrofoam, plastic and foam wrapping, Aquafina bottles, Snickers, candy packaging. Uh, we've got clam shells from restaurants, plastic bags with garbage in them, everything that's washed down the storm drain. We have a litter problem, we have a plastic pollution problem, and the only real solution is going to be going to reusable products or invent disposables that rapidly biodegrade so that we don't end up with this mess that contaminates our ocean and chokes our seas and wildlife. So this is all the plastic pollutants. I hope you guys are getting a good view of what I'm seeing here. All the plastics amid the, uh, the mystery foam as we call it. There's a strange foam that comes out of the um, storm drains uh, and that's what's stuck on everything. It's probably a combination of bacterial films uh, maybe algae based, maybe fungal based, um, and, and likely has a lot of chemicals in it. But we have plastic toys, plastic coffee cups, uh, root beer, uh, soda cans, plastic water bottles. Every step I take, there's plastic everywhere all over the shore. It doesn't take being a scientist to understand what kind of issue we're facing here. And this is just a large, look at all this foam. This foam is approximately four to five inches thick and it's just sitting on the shore. These bacterial uh, pollutants in the foam and other, and even in just the urban runoff, uh, go out into the beach and bring with it a whole bunch of uh, different bacteria and viruses that make humans sick to swim in the ocean. This is not the type of planet that I wanna live on and I hope the viewers who are seeing this, maybe on YouTube or Vimeo, can rethink their usage of products because no matter whether you recycle or throw away your trash properly, much of it still ends up here on the beach and it's just everywhere. Every step I take, there is plastic bottle caps, styrofoam packaging, um, we've got everything out of plastic pellets, uh, packaging pellets. There, there's the plaque. <laughs> Recycle, reuse. I love that sign. We've got single-use straws, cutlery, bottle caps, all the usual suspects, um, styrofoam next to single-use plastic water bottles. And it just goes on and on. Got some sort of weird plastic lid there. I'm Benjamin K. reporting live from Santa Monica, California, home of our beautiful beaches.